All right, this is Geek Out Tech. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to change out RAM in a 2010 MacBook Pro. I'm going to be going from two DIMMs of 2 gig RAM to two DIMMs of 4 gig RAM for a total of eight. Um, first thing you want to do with the laptop, you want to open it up. Make sure the thing is off. Make sure it's not in sleep. You want to make sure it's completely shut down. Go ahead and completely shut down the computer. Close it there. Flip it over. So we're going to access the RAM from underneath on the bottom. I'm going to be replacing the RAM with OWC RAM. Um, I've been using OWC for about four years now in my iMac. Um, I've upgraded the RAM on it twice and been very happy with it. Uh, one thing I like about OWC is they have a very easy way to uh, select what RAM you need for your computer. It's very fast and efficient. It's one of the reasons why I like going there. Okay. So the first thing you want to do before breaking into this is you want to make sure that you don't have any static electricity built up on your hands and your body. You don't want to be shocking any components inside the computer. So what you want to do is you want to touch the shell here. You want to make sure you ground it out, especially if you're doing this around a carpet or on anything else that is builds up a lot of static electricity. Touch something metal. I can touch the leg of this table under here. So anything with large metal, make sure you touch it and kind of ground out before you start opening this up. All right, there are 10 screws you need to remove. We'll start here down in the corner. So there are three screws here, here, and here that are quite a bit longer than the rest of the screws. So what I'm going to do to remember where they go back, I'm just going to put a little piece of tape, mark in the three holes, of the ones with the longer screws. In case you end up turning the laptop around and losing track of which direction it was facing, you can remember which three screw holes the longer screws go into. I'm going to carefully peel the top off here. All right. And as you can see here, here's our hard drive, DVD drive, and our memory is right here. All right, so I'm going to touch the frame again, just right before I start touching the component here. You want to make sure you don't touch, you want to touch as little as possible. You don't want to touch a circuit board or anything like that. And there are two tabs in here holding this in place. One right here and one right here. So you're going to take these tabs and pull outward on them and the memory will pop up and you'll be able to remove it. There, it pops up there. And take this and you want to make sure, I like to just keep my fingers right on the edge. Make sure I'm not touching any of the electronics. Tug that. And when you first pull this out, just give a little note of where the notch is. You want to make sure that when you're trying to put the memory in, the new memory, you want to make sure that notch is on the same side. There's less pins on this side, more pins on that side. So you can orient this correctly. Okay, now for the one on the bottom. I'm going to pull these out a second time. There we go. Pops up a little higher. Pull these out. These slide out pretty easily. All right, here's our new memory from OWC. These, you'll notice a sticker on here. Those stickers, they're completely fine just sitting on that memory. So you don't want to try and peel them off or just, just leave them there. All right, so remember our notch is over on this side. Holding it out the edges. You're going to want to put this down into the slot just about the same angle that was in there 
you had in there before. Give it a little push. Got to push it in there a little bit to make sure that it's fully engaged on the pins in place. Kind of push straight across. We're going to push this down. Snap it into place. All right, should lay perfectly flat once it's seated. Got our next memory, it's dim. And slide that in. Right there we go. Push this down. There you go. New memory is in. So all you got to do is. Get the lid, put it back in place. Now that we've boot up the laptop, go up here to the Apple symbol, click about this Mac, and you can see here that we have eight gig of RAM. Click on more info, click here on memory, and you can see here that we have two DIMMs, four gig of RAM in each one for a total of eight gig of RAM. And you're done. This is Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching.